Available through a demo on Steam. In single players only, however, firstly, if you miss out on it early in the year, we have an RPG survival adventure horror game hybrid. Well, a tad inspired by the Forest series, here's an Unreal Engine 5 open role game in nature going by the name If Sun Sits. Now, the premise is like during the daytime, you get supplies for survival any way you can. Then at night, you do anything you can to save yourself from monsters that have tracked you down. This game is said to be coming to pieces exclusively in the third quarter of 2024. Believe it or not, it's been almost a whole year since we actually heard rumors on an Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag remake. Now we're not really sure exactly what Ubisoft has in mind with the remake, but there is a good chance developers are making up for their loss on Skull and Bones, which we had our hopes up to the roof over the years. In any case, this won't likely happen up until mid to late 2025 and definitely won't make it over to past generation of consoles. Moving on to number 3, we have Pirate's Den Renovator. Now surprisingly, this is actually from the same developers of the upcoming game, I Am Jesus Christ. This is an economy, management and base building renovator, Sim, where you play as a retired pirate, taking care of everything that happens on a deserted tropical island to make it your own. Not only on the land, but also on the sea with your own handmade ships. Really good premise. Been in development for nearly two years now since reveal. Number four, we have a Pirates VR Jolly Roger. Obviously, it's a virtual reality game offering a linear gameplay style on a mysterious island somewhere in the Caribbean Sea, where objective is to just scavenge as hard as you can to find treasure and eventually learn about this island's true nature. There's a little bit of cliffhanging, cave exploring, puzzle solving, and along the way, a decent story, as developers put it.
same deal over here, although not a VR compatible, but set in first person view. Pirate Simulator has been in the making for three years, and it's actually the work of the single biggest simulation game publishers ever. Thief Simulators, Car Simulator, Mechanic, House Flippers. This immersive sim, PvE based open world game, throws you in the shoes of a rookie sailor on a boat and lets you find your way around the world with your own wits. Pirate Sim is coming to PCs only within 2024, possibly soon. Extraordinarily picturesque scenery, gorgeously beautiful sea, great booze. On the other hand, we have Corsair's Legacy Naval Mission, a game we've mentioned before. You can play it actually on Steam through a demo if you like what you see here. This is a action RPG life sim set on the golden age of piracy in the Caribbean and you play as a pirate captain leading battles. Now this is a quest based adventure with many games and a diverse battle system with a proper story, several endings actually and a good amount of sword fights. Anyway, Corsair's Legacy is coming out of PCs exclusively in the next few months. Everyone hopes they'll be spared that fate. Well, it's in your hands. It's up to you to decide how you I'm Captain Flint, and I chose a pirate's life. Once again, wealth was crossing my path. A good sacking plan is always the best way to recruit good sea dogs. Moving on to number 7, we have a tactical role-playing game in nature, set in a pirate world with a strong original narrative as developer stated, going by the name Flint, Treasure of Oblivion. It's actually made in like a comic book style story with the aim to recreate the old pirate world, including historical elements. But in any case, Flint is coming to pieces in the PlayStation 5 in the final quarter of 2024. This is how it looks. It was just the beginning of our adventure, and they didn't see the end of me. Announced a few months ago, in case you missed it, number 8 we have Boko. Now, Boko is an open world craft survival adventure and a developer's first work touted as an action adventure inspired by the famous mobile game Raft. Boko is also the same deal with every single game we mention, except it's an indie developer's work and your actions are all limited to building and crafting tools. This game is coming to PCs only later this year. That being said, Ahoy is a smuggling game for 2-4 to four players. It's just simply that. It's a board game in nature, but the digital version of it is on its way to PCs in the next few months, Philip has announced. There isn't really much to talk about except it's an asymmetrical style board game, offering 4 different roles and a lot of strategy. This game is coming to PCs exclusively within 2024.
10, we have a city building strategy sim, but it's a pirate based one going by the name Republic of Pirates. In this game, you create a resource based economy utilizing over a hundred unique buildings and fight in real battles for loot and fame. The game has a diplomacy system, a few different modes to play to, single and multiplayer, and a good pool of ships to unlock, eventually upgrade for heavier battles. 10 out of 10 premise, Republic of Pirates is coming out by the end of the year. I don't think this is just me, but if you're an old school player, there's also Sea Legends to keep in mind. It's no longer in early access, but this pure single player experience is an RPG sandbox sim with 4 week strategy game elements made in Unreal Engine. There's a heavy focus on sea battles and you live the life of a hauler, or simply smuggler who have to just make a living while dealing with pirates. Anyway, Sea Legends is coming to PCs only in the third quarter of 2024. If you are already familiar with the cat quests, you definitely know you're in for a treat when the sequel hits the new platforms. But either way, Cat Quest 3 is coming out of PCs, Switch, and other consoles as well, mid to late 2024. Developers just came out and announced with a new trailer. If you like action RPGs, this thing here is like a cynical comedy hack and slasher, offering possibly one of the most charming cast of characters and designs. Cat Quest 3 just got a new trailer to keep up the hype. Coming out to PCs next month at number 13, we have Forgotten Seas, which is a sword fighting survival PvE action game in which you navigate a pirate ship in the Bermuda Triangle where strange forces of nature affect your journey. Your challenge is to come to land and upgrade your ship for better battles and go back into the sea for a higher chance against your enemies. Uh, Forgotten Seas is coming to PCs only mid to late 2024. Pirate Commander is purely a management sim. If you've ever played games such as Fallout Shelter and Side View platformers, it's basically that formula but set in the sea, incorporating survival and sandbox game elements for good. You fight, loot, upgrade your fleets, and manage your crew's morale for maximum performance. Technically, it's a strategy game in nature. Pirate Commander is coming to pieces only later this year as well.
Sea Dogs is a brand new work from the same developers of the Caribbean Legends, actually another open world romance based classic RPG inspired by the 90s, revolving around sword fights and naval battles with the aim to become a true captain in the sea. It's an indie game over here with a deep character customization option and played in third person view. Sea Dogs is coming to PCs only within 2024 as well. And last but not least, uh, we've got a beat-em-up 90s inspired classic side-scroller going by the name Buccaneers Ship Shape. You can play this thing on Steam if you're into pixel art graphics, there's a free demo for you to try. The full game is coming out in the next few months as a Microsoft exclusive. Ship Shape over here is actually a remake of a 35-year-old arcade game with new content, remade music and even better controls.